Fee-for-service nursing home telemedicine billing and coding is basically the same as regular billing and coding. Same codes, same modifiers. But you also add a 95 modifier to all encounters. So a level 2 HMP performed by a resident for a hospice patient is a 9305 AIGC GV95. Clear as mud? You're welcome! Problems mostly arise during HMPs. History and medical decision complexity remain unchanged regardless from where you're doing them, but what about the physical examination? You may recall that level 2 and 3 HMPs require a comprehensive level physical exam, which is generally defined as 18 or more elements from 9 or more systems, and so this raises the question of whether you can count points for something a nurse does. Most physicians I ask say yes, whereas my curmudgeon builder encoder says no. It's a classic case of, dad says I can have ice cream for breakfast, but mom says, go to your room. It's certainly possible to get 18 elements from 9 systems without ever touching a patient, but I don't know, it just seems so lazy. If you want to get more points, you can buy a digital stethoscope and have the staff send you or play back their recordings. But these things cost... oh, oh wow. Uh, okay, it looks like I'm really lazy after all. If you don't want to count beans, you can still bill by time. But again, keep in mind that if a nurse is holding the tablet for you, every minute that you spend with the patient is a minute that this overworked nurse is not providing care on an understaffed floor. If you spend over 45 minutes with a nurse on one patient encounter, do yourself a favor. Get down on one knee, attach your pager to her finger, and ask her to take call with you. Objectively, this is actually a great opportunity to do some bedside teaching and explain to the nurses what you're looking for on the physical exam and why. If you can help the nurses understand your thought process, it'll improve their assessments, and that's a win-win. Okay, I guess I'll take some questions from the chat now. Oh, uh, no, so it didn't work out for me because the nurse who was holding the tablet actually turned out to be a mount with wheels.